welcome back. Today's video is going to be my current everyday makeup routine. As you know, the look is always very similar. I know what I like and what suits my face, but the products are slightly different in this video. I haven't done one of these videos in a while, so I thought I'd just show you what I'm currently wearing on my face. All the products used in this video are going to be linked below in the description box, so go check that out. And the next shot you see will be me with no makeup, so don't get a shock, but I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I'm going to start by using my M&S Rosie for Autograph Amazing Radiance Cream. This is just a really nice hydrating, glowy primer. I like to use a primer when I have time because I've got quite dry skin. I'm then using my MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation in NC20. I'm really liking this foundation at the moment. It's kind of medium coverage. It gives quite a nice glowy finish and I like to apply it with a damp Real Techniques complexion sponge. So I just bounce that all over my face until I get the coverage that I want. I'm then using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I use this under my eyes, down my nose, around my nose and on my chin. And then I go in again with the damp sponge to mesh it all into the skin. And sometimes I take my Real Techniques setting brush just because I get a bit creasy under my eye. I'm then using the Tarte Smooth Operator Finishing Powder just underneath the eye to prevent any creasing where I put the concealer. For bronzer, I'm using the new NARS Limited Edition Laguna Bronzer. I'm pretty sure this is the same as the original Laguna, but it's got a very strong scent of like sun cream. I really like it, but I think if you have sensitive skin, the scent might not be for you. For blusher, I'm using Bobbi Brown Pink Rose. A really nice natural rosy pink, and I'm just putting that on the apples of my cheeks. For highlights, I'm using the Becca Moonstone Highlighter and just applying a tiny bit on the tops of my cheekbones. This has been my favourite highlighter for quite a few months now. For my eyebrows, I'm using the Delilah Brow Line in Ash. I just brush through my brows first and then apply a tiny amount in the front and the arches of my brows. I'm then using a clear eyebrow to set them all in place. For my eyeshadow, I'm using the new Clarins Waterproof Cream Eyeshadow in Copper Brown. This is really nice, you can either wear it really sheer or you can keep layering it up. I like to use a flat brush to apply it onto the lid and then a bigger fluffier brush to blend it out. And you can just keep applying it until you get the required amount. And it's a really pretty copper colour. So I'm applying that all over the lid, making sure to blend it out and then I also like to apply it under the eye as well. For my eyeliner, I'm using MAC Groundbreaker. I absolutely love this eyeliner at the moment. It's so easy to use, it's so soft. I like to apply it to the top lash line and then sometimes I like to use a brush just to blend it out and make the edges really soft. I've been wearing this eyeliner pretty much every day for the past two months. For my mascara, I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Again, one I've been using a lot over the past month. It really defines and lengthens the lashes. It's quite a wet formula, so I tend to get it on my eyelid like I did today, but it's really nice. And then at this point, I like to use a setting spray. This is the Clarins Fix Makeup, and it's very refreshing. For my lips, I'm using the Kylie Jenner Lip Kit in Candy K. This is the most neutral shade that I picked up. I just line the lips and then use the liquid lipstick, and it really does stay put all day. So please let me know what you guys think of this look. Leave me a comment on the video or give it a like if you did like it. If you haven't seen my last video, please click the i button. You can have a watch of that. And I've also linked some other recent videos down below in the description box. See you guys in my next video and thanks so much for watching. Bye.